Hey everyone, Doug here at NAB 2022. I can't believe I'm thrilled to be back here and behind me my first stop for the day is the Atomos booth and they've got, as always, so many cool toys, but the new thing they got this year is the Atomos Connect and it connects right to the back of the Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus to give direct uploads to Frame.io. This is a really interesting partnership they've got going on here and there's a live demo that we'll check out right now. Hey everyone, so we are here at the Atomos booth. I've got Wes here with me. He's gonna show us the brand new Atomos Connect system that they've got going on here. There's a whole editing suite and delivery uh, setup, and it's quite a process, but it, it's not at the same time. It's, it's so fast, it's seamless. You're gonna be blown away. So what are we looking at exactly? So we got the Ninja 5 here with the Atomos Connect module on the back, which gives you the ability to send the signal to over Wi-Fi or Ethernet to our cloud, which sends it to other clouds, for example, Frame.io. So what we're showing here is the ability to send proxy clips from the Ninja to Frame.io, giving you the ability to get editing or reviewing clips while you're still shooting. So you can have your editor back in the editing suite while you're shooting. Everybody's working at the same time. Nobody has to wait for the drive to get shipped back to yeah, the editing suite. Yeah. So it's very simple to use. I could just turn on recording here. And if you want to just wave at the camera, say hi. Hello. Okay, so we've recorded the shot. <laughs> this Ninja is recording both a high quality ProRes file and a H.265 proxy at the exact same time. Okay. And when it's finished recording, it uploaded oh. that H.265, look at this, I'm not even done talking yet. That <laughs> H.265 file has now appeared in Frame.io, and now Frame is processing it so that it can show us the thumbnails. And once it's done processing that, we're immediately able to view it in Frame.io, review it, provide notes, the same clip's going to appear in the, ed in the editor. I'll show you that in just a moment. So here's your clip here inside a frame. And you can already scrub it. I can already scrub it. Oh. I can play this <laughs> clip. It's, it's, it's available to be used practically instantly. So there's your, there's you. Wow, and look at that. since this is in the cloud, any, any system that right. has access to this can do the same thing. So if we go down, if we go down here, I got Frame.io on my iPad. If I refresh it, that exact same clip shows up now on the iPad. Yeah. So now a producer could look at this and see if they like that shot or not. Now, is it, sorry to interrupt you, is, yes. it, is it uploading as it's recording or is it like buffering that and then uploading the file? Uh, the way that our beta system is currently working is it's uploading it when it's finished. We do have, a, we do have plans that it's going to do a cool progressive upload while we're recording, mm -hmm. but in our current beta state here on the show floor, it's not, rec it's not sending the file until you stop recording. Got it, got uh, it. But when, now that it's in frame, it appears here in the here, and I can also show it to you on an editing system. So the editor here, like let's say I'm in Final Cut Pro, right. I can refresh my workflow extension, and if I actually, right now I'm looking at the other camera on our booth, so I'm just gonna go back to camera A, which is the one we were just looking at, and there's the shot with you. I can import that here. Wow. That will download that proxy file directly into Final Cut, <laughs> and now I can edit you into my timeline, and now you're a part of my show. So, well, editing while <laughs> editing while we're shooting essentially yeah. just saving so much time and giving feedback For and if real. there's a problem we can tell the people back on the set hey can you reshoot it or can you try something different it's a huge time savings not to mention also just you know, for, for obvious reasons, people are scattered all over now editing remotely. But even before, even before the last few years, like I had definitely seen or heard of productions, especially on the higher end, that are they've got directors in other countries, they've got editors in other countries. Uh, you know, they've got all sorts of parts of the production pipeline all over the place. Right. And so, yeah, this fits really well into a distributed workflow. Like yeah, that. All yeah. Over. And the cloud is the place where they can all combine and work together from that same source of file, same source of truth, same source of files. Right. So yeah, right. it's this is all happening. So we're really excited about it. Now, in terms of I guess just professional, uh, the production, post-production side of it, um, what kind of metadata are we dealing with? What kind of uh, does this match everything that's on the recorder? Yes. Well, all the all the metadata from the files gets uploaded up to Frame.io as well. Mm -hmm. So Frame.io will have access in its interface to some of that metadata. But of course, once you bring that file into your NLE, whether that be Premiere or Resolve or Final Cut, then you'll have access to that metadata there as well. Got it. Got it. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, I'm like, the latency is just blowing my mind. Right? It's so fast. That's what's so great about it. Yeah. All right. That's... I mean, this is, this is game changing right here. So thanks for showing me that. All right. All right. Great times. Thank yeah. you. See you around. So that is it for the Atomos booth. Let's move along and see what's going on with the rest of NAB 2022.